Yo, what is going on guys? This is Galactic here and the gameplay for this video today is just me fish farming on Minecraft. But um today I'm going to be telling a little story about somebody in my group who is crazy. So um this year, oh also I have a trait in this video. This is a collaboration story time. Yeah, I'm Alright, so basically, um, I'm in 8th grade, right? Last semester, I had, um, art. And it was, like, mid-quarter during the first quarter of the semester. So, like, it was, like, maybe October, November, somewhere in that time. And we got new seats for the mid-quarter. And, um, freaking, I got sat next to three other people. I, th to the left of me, sat another boy, and then it, there was two other girls diagonal from me and then right in front of me. So, the guy to my left, let's just call him Buzz Lightyear. So, Buzz Lightyear, um, he liked to cause trouble, you know. He was super funny i would usually um talk to him at art or um or i would talk to noah the savage but um so i would talk to buzz lightyear a lot in that class and um across from me sat snuffleupagus we're gonna call her um so she was kind of interesting. Me and her didn't really get along. She didn't really get along with Buzz Lightyear either. Or really anybody except for the other person at the desk and maybe like her two other friends. But like, um, she's just like, she was really stiff. And like, she would be the type of person, so if like the teacher left the room, she would be like, Guys, stop! You're not supposed to be talking while the teacher's gone. It's disrespectful. But, um, yeah, so in front of me sat the crazy girl, the title of this video. And, um, a trait doesn't really come into play quite yet, but I'll get into that soon. So she sat oh, in front of me. I group chat and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that later. Right now I'm gonna talk about, like, do you remember the stuff that went down in art? Let's tell the audience. So, um, she sat in front of me. Let's, we're going to be calling her Spoon for this video. So, Spoon was obviously crazy out of her mind. But, um... Wait, i got to see if this clipped or not. Sorry, guys. I just get paranoid about that. It's recording. So, um... She was obviously crazy about the title. So, um... And you'll see why in a little bit. So it was normal for the first, like, week of us sitting there, you know. We would just talk. Um, Snuffleupagus and Spoon would always argue with Buzz Lightyear. I would always kind of stay out of it. Usually be on Buzz Lightyear's side. And then they would be just like, Oh, you're so biased. Come on. You're so mean. But then after a week of... Um, I don't think she even knew my name, really. Or maybe she did. But... After about a week, somehow she knew everything about me. So this is where Spit goes down. Um, freaking, we're in art one day. I walk in, start drawing, doing the warm-up drawing that we do every day. And then, um, <laughs> so I was doing the drawing that we usually do every day. And, um, she all, she talks to me, Spoon talks to me. She says, um, who's your oldest, like, who's the friend you've known the longest? And I said, um, he try hard. Shout out to his channel. Get him to 15 subs, please. He's at 11 right now. That would be golden. But, um, so I say he try hard. I've known him since, like, kindergarten. He's probably, like, my oldest friend that I'm still friends with. So, um, she says, okay. So, um, would you rather save E. Tryhard's life or cut off your ding dong? She didn't say ding dong, but she said, you know. So, like, I was like, 
Wow, okay. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she just starts asking, like, crazy questions. And then she all of a sudden says, Who would you have blank with? And blank, I'm not gonna say for this video, because I'm a kid-friendly channel. But, um, who would you rather have blank with? Me or Snuffleupagus? And I'm just like, actually, I'm not gonna answer that either. And then I just kind of kept ignoring all the weird questions, and that kept going on. So, uh, like, a couple weeks later, those weird questions and, like, weird stuff keeps going on. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she goes, hey... I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know why. I never like asked or anything. She just all of a sudden said she had like extra money on her, and then she was just like, "Yo, if you could." She asked me like, "Do you play video games?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she was just like, "What video game do you want right now?" And I was like, "Um, maybe Gang Beast. That game looks kind of cool." And she was like, "How much is it? Twenty bucks?" And she was just like, "Okay, I'm gonna bring you twenty bucks." So, um, about a week later, one of her friends just comes up to me and says she wants to give me 20 bucks. I walk over there. She gives me 20 bucks. And then, the friend comes over and gives me a note. And the note was like a love note. And then, um, the note was kind of creepy. I don't have it on me. I wish I did. And I don't remember exactly what it says. But it was kind of weird. And, um, I started talking to people about this because I thought it was funny and I thought it was, like, weird or, like, funny or whatever, that frick. And, um, everyone was laughing, all my friends were laughing. And then, like, a bunch of weird stuff starts going on. Like, she, like, finds out my number somehow. She gets my Snapchat from some... Getting my Snapchat, I can see that, but she gets my number somehow. I don't really know how. It's kind of weird. But then, um, I start talking to one of her friends a lot, and we plot something. And this is where Connor gets into play. Do you want to tell him a little bit, Connor? Um, yeah. So, basically, guys, we started messing with her a little bit. Um, I started sending her some messages. Or, actually, she added me on Snapchat. That was the first thing. And we started sending her some messages and whatever, and we made a group chat with her friend. What should we call her friend? Um, Sidra from Brawlhalla. So Sidra. Yeah. yeah, so we made a group chat with Sidra, me, and Sonder. And we started plotting something. So our plan was... To either get Sonder to ask her out, just as like a joke, <laughs> or like us both to do something. Oh yeah, keep in mind that she told me that she liked me, and then she told Connor that she um liked him. And if if you haven't like caught on already, like A Trade's real name is Connor, and my real name is Sonder. So if you hear us say those names, just know who we're talking about. But, um, lunch rolls around for the next day. And, um, she dressed up all fancy so she could come talk to Connor. <laughs> <laughs> and she asked Sidra, like, what should I wear tomorrow? Oh my god, I'm scared. And, um, so, it's lunch. And this lunchtime... Spit goes down. Like, alright, so her friend comes over, sits down, talks to us a little bit, and then here comes Spoon, walking at one mile an hour. She finally gets here, sits down next to Sidra. Then what, Connor? So, guys, it was just really awkward. She wasn't talking. She was only talking to Sidra. And Sidra was just laughing the whole time. And I was just sitting, eating my cheese tortilla behind my lunchbox, not looking at her, because she was gonna, um, cut my dim <laughs> off. Um, so, I thought she was gonna ask me out. 
And then we had a plan that when she asked me out, Sandra would step in and be like, no. She's mine. Like as a joke. But she didn't do it. So eventually, I just asked her out. <laughs> and, and then I she objected. Was like, oh. She was like, oh, yeah, sure. And then I was just like, then, you know what? I have something to say. I'm just com I'm just baffled. I don't know who to choose out of you two. And I was referring to Sidra and um Spoon. And I was obviously joking and everything. So then she starts like blushing and stuff and Sidra starts laughing out of her mind. And then um that happens. And then I ask her or what did I do? I think she left. just I think yeah, she just got up and left and, and sat then, down. And then and she then, thought that me and her were dating. Yeah, she thought Spoon that, thought me and her were dating. <laughs> and we weren't. So So when I, I woke, to her. I woke up to her. Yeah. I look her dead in her spoon eyes, her silver eyes, her silverware eyes, and I say Neither of us freaking like you And then she was like Okay, I don't care and I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I said this when I say this, and if you're watching this right now, you cared, okay? You cared a lot. You care. But um so that goes on and then it's the end of the day. And she somehow thinks that her and Connor are still dating. <laughs> <laughs> she's just unbelievable so we cleared that up in the group chat and stuff and then she added us and I said stuff to her and then she was like it's all good I don't even worry about it I've got someone else no no no, no. You, she forgot something what did I forget she thought or she she thought that me and her were still dating but not only she didn't think that she thought that oh, you yeah. and her were dating also oh yeah yeah <laughs> She thought that, like, she was dating both of us. <laughs> and then we cleared all that up with her, you know. She blocked me. I don't know if she blocked Connor. We switched numbers, and then I pretended to be Connor, and he pretended to be me. So that was pretty fun, too. I sent her a picture of, like, um, Vector with a Mario head with no mustache. And then she was like, nah, it's all good. I have somebody else. And then But then um I'm a, like a month goes by, at least a month goes by. And then um the whole thing didn't work out with her and but then um freaking apparently she likes Connor again. And she likes me again. And that she wanted to have an open relationship with both of us. <laughs> and then we made a bunch of jokes with that with everyone. And then she ended up actually moving away. She so um, I'm pretty sure she moved into my basement if I'm going to be honest. I don't really know where she went exactly. But um, I have a feeling that she won't be gone for long. She'll be back. She'll be back. <laughs> and when that day comes, we'll be ready. Right, Connor? Yeah. Alright. But anyways, guys, um, this is just something funny and kind of crazy that I thought happened. Obviously crazy by the title. But um, I hope you liked the video. Please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.